is joining us now, the principal of Bloomfield Hills High School, Charlie Holerith. And uh, Principal Holerith, thank you very much for joining us via Zoom. You look great. Thanks, Dave. Glad to be with you. Well, and you must be beaming and proud because, uh, uh, Charlie, one of those students we were just talking about attends your school, and another one, his younger sister, is uh, they're West Bloomfield residents, but they uh, are both in the Bloomfield Hills School District. you got to be really proud. And, and what a great thing they're doing, huh? It, it is really great what they're doing, and we've seen so many different examples of this uh, through these uh, dark times over the last several weeks, students stepping up like uh, with Sam and quarantine, trying to help others or our student leadership doing virtual spirit days uh, to a number of different activities. So it's, you know, it's great to see. Um, I think that's one of the great um, uh, silver linings in a dark cloud is that how uh, community members, especially our students and families, have gotten out to support each other. Well, and I want to thank you. You're another uh, great participant in this whole thing in your school. A big thank you to Bloomfield Hills High School, you and everyone else, and your uh, superintendent, our good friend Pat Watson, for making the BIF 88.1 WBFH uh, available for the broadcast. I can see you smiling again. I know you're proud, and, and what a great use of that radio station uh, to help inform the community community uh, during this crisis. So a big thank you for making that available. Well, and it's our pleasure. And, you know, in this time, you can't have enough communication. So we need to rely on on West Bloomfield, all of you, uh, Avondale, us, the, the BIF, to, to get out the message and just another resource that uh, parents can rely on uh, to keep up to date in this situation. And if you're not proud enough already, you got to be even prouder because the guy sitting in the studio, the guy's been hitting all the buttons, Tyler Keefe over there, is another <laughs> graduate of your high school. Do you know Tyler by any chance? Uh, Tyler, uh, we have, uh, I think you well know, Dave, we've had a lot of uh, students that have been on the BIF uh, uh, and been part of the radio program that have gone on and continued in communication or advertising. So we're very proud of Tyler and so many others uh, after him and before him that have continued to pursue their passion. Well radio or multimedia he does a great job uh he's blushing over there in the corner you can't see him but uh <laughs> he is uh he is uh, blushing he does a great job he is our associate general manager of our operation and uh other than the fact that he was educated at michigan state i think he does a pretty good job considering those limitations tyler you know we can't all be perfect Dave. <laughs> we can't all so uh so charlie if i if you don't mind charlie hullerith yeah principal of Bloomfield Hills High School. How are things going? It must have been devastating to hear the news that school is essentially done for the year. How are you dealing with that in Bloomfield Hills? Well, it's it's certainly, we got the devastating news, and but we've been busy because albeit uh, two weeks ago, we were still considered a brick and mortar school. And now within two weeks, we've uh, starting today, we've launched our continuous learning plan and, and are moving forward as uh, online and doing the best we can and uh, we especially this is the time of the year with end of year events and celebrations and recognition and awards and we're especially uh, sensitive to our seniors you know the class of 2020 and uh, trying to look at rescheduling or redesigning some of these activities so they can get the recognition and honor they deserve um, and a lot of that will hinge upon uh, the governor and what health experts uh, We'll, we'll seek their guidance, and we'll have a contingency plan for the contingency plan. <laughs> no, I understand. And, you know, I mean, I think back over my lifetime, and certainly one of the proudest moments, I think more for my parents than me, but was when that miraculous thing happened and I actually graduated from West Bloomfield High School. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I, I know that people want to be able to appropriately celebrate this, but we got to deal with what we got to deal with. Uh, we got some time, though. The possibility still exists, and... I know a lot of schools are looking at streaming commencement ceremonies and things like that. But more important than the ceremony, we have been assured, and, and you can reassure parents right now, that seniors' accreditation and their graduations will be secure, even though the last days in school have been virtual. Absolutely. And, and by and large, not only in, in our high school, uh, but in high schools across the state of the Michigan, most of the seniors have completed, because uh, we've you know, we've really 
well, they've completed all but half a semester of their four years of coursework. So most of them should be in good standing. We just wanna make sure that in these last remaining weeks that we prepare them uh, for the transition to college and university or whatever career uh, aspirations they may have. Are things getting any easier? We've talked to, we talked to your superintendent, Pat Watson, and all the other superintendents we can get a hold of across our, our coverage area. And uh, the first couple of days were, wow, I mean, we, everybody had an awful lot uh, to handle. Is it settling down? Are you getting into some kind of a, a groove now? I, th- I think uh, now that we've got our continuous learning plan in place uh, as a district, I think uh, that that will be reassuring for students and families. And the only other thing is looking at the uh, events that we're going to need to reschedule. So I think we're in a we're in a good place right now. Certainly a lot better than we were three weeks ago with a lot more questions back then unanswered. So. Uh, we're confident, and uh, I know we'll get through this. Anything, uh, anything you want to share with parents or students in your district? That uh, any any new news, any new information, anything that that you'd like to talk to them about today? I think it's going to be important, especially as Bloomfield and West Bloomfield, Troy, all Farmington, all the surrounding districts start moving forward in the curriculum. It's going to be important for families. Uh, I think parents have realized uh, the challenges of having kids home all day and trying to do their jobs and keep their their children caught up in the learning. So I think establishing routines at, at this point and a daily schedule is going to be very important for parents as best they can. Uh, we know that many of our families in our communities will still be battling this uh, this terrible virus. So, you know, cases of COVID will still exist. But um, I do think we're in a better place and uh, we will continue to communicate those changes. Um, Michigan Department of Education is giving us a lot of guidance. I know us as uh, in our conference, the Oakland Athletics or Activities Association, the OAA, which is made up of all area principals, we continue to meet on a regular basis and coordinate our efforts. So as, as we move forward, we'll continue to communicate out and we thank, uh, thank you and others for helping uh, get that message out. Charlie Hollerith is with us. He's a principal of Bloomfield Hills High School. Uh, principal Hollerith, thank you very much for joining us today. And, you know, it's, it's tough, I know, on students and, and teachers and the administrators, but the parents have just been amazing dealing with their work, dealing with being at home, dealing with uh, helping their students and, and helping them and taking on some of the uh, teaching responsibilities. Um, parents have been absolutely amazing. They have, and uh, they've been very patient, and uh, we continue to appreciate their trust and support as, as we get through this together with them. All right. Well, thank you for joining us. Good to have you here. Uh, say hello to everyone at Bloomfield Hills School District. Tell, tell Mr. Watson we said hello, and we will keep in touch. And if you have anything else you want to share with the community, let us know, and we'll, we'll get it right out there. All right? Thank you, Dave. And I just want a quick shout out to Ron Whittables, our station manager. Many of you know he does a great job keeping the BIF operational. And uh, I'll definitely give send Pat uh, your best. And uh, from all of us in Bloomfield Hills District, thank you for, for the work that you're doing to communicate the messages out from all of us. Yeah, Ron is so humble. You know, he said, I kept yes. mentioning his name on the radio and on TV. And he said, you know, Dave, you don't need to do that. But he's he's done a great job, and he really uh, embraced this with uh, all the enthusiasm you can you can imagine. When we said, "Hey, we'd like to partner with you and and get this information out to more people," and he he was there. He said yes immediately, and it's been uh, he's gone through a lot of personal inconvenience to make this happen. So I just want you and Pat to know that he's doing a great job. Thank you. All right. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. The principal of Bloomfield Hills High School with us, that is Charlie Hollerith. So thank you very much, sir.